Yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy Synergize and I am back with a brand new video and today I'd like to introduce yet another series onto my channel called Reliving Destiny 1 in Under 5 Minutes. This will be a mini series that will be completed before the release of Destiny 2 on September 6th. The series is a refresher course of Destiny 1 where we will relive the game together and each part will be under 5 minutes long. We are starting off with reliving planet Earth within Destiny 1. This series should make more sense once you watch this installment and I think everyone will enjoy the series and gain a lot of knowledge and a refresher before the full game of Destiny 2 releases. With that being said, I'd really appreciate if you guys could leave a like on this video and subscribe if you enjoyed. It would be awesome if we could reach 5 likes. Now let's get into the video. Okay, so let's start at the beginning. You awake to a ghost finishing the revival of your dead body without much explanation and without the joy you would exactly expect the ghost to have, considering this ghost has been searching for hundreds of years to find a guardian worthy of light and life that can save the last city on earth. Now awoken, you are tasked with finding a way back to the city, but first you must find a weapon and fight your way through the first wave of enemies known as the Fallen, which have lore of their own, but basically the Fallen are mercenaries and pirates in possession of advanced technology including armor, weapons, and vehicles. They take over and scavenge other planets within the solar system in search for more resources. The Fallen are powered by Aether, which is provided by their servitors. Their armor is infused with this ether, allowing them to live, and when you kill a fallen enemy with precision damage, you will notice that their ether is glowing and being released from their bodies. As you move forward, you enter the vast outdoors within the Cosmodrome, where a House of Devils Ketch, which is a fallen ship sent from the House of Devils, which is just a sort of base for the fallen located on Earth. The Ketch drops off reinforcements, which you fight your way through to get to a place known as Dock 13. Once in Dock 13, your ghost tells you that he found signs of an old jump ship located somewhere within the dock. You fight your way through the Fallen and discover an Arcadia-class ship, your ticket to the city. You then arrive in what is known as the Tower, which is home of the Guardians. You speak to the Vanguard leaders to receive your first mission, which is to find a warp drive for your ship so that you can travel to other planets. You begin your mission and arrive at a place called the Steps, a location within the old Russia part of Earth. Your ghost tells you that a Guardian ship was recently shot down here, and it is your job to locate it and acquire its warp drive. You find the jump ship and scan the drive with no luck, but your ghost recovers a transmission from the ship that could tell you where the drive is. The transmission informs you about an information hub nearby. You then enter a bunker in search of the information hub and ultimately find a map of the Cosmodrome. After scanning the map, your ghost tells you to return to where you found your ship in Dock 13. Once you return, your ghost tells you the warp drive is now in fallen hands. You then confront Rixus, a Devil's Arcan Priest. Once you defeat the Priest, you receive the warp drive you were looking for. You then return to the tower where you encounter the Speaker, who is the voice of the Traveler, which is the big-ass floating sphere in the sky. The Speaker informs the Guardian that the Traveler created the ghost with his dying breath to seek out people worthy of being Guardians and repelling the imminent darkness. You are then sent by the Vanguard to the Lunar Complex, a different section within Skywatch. The Vanguard suspects something is happening there and need to know what it is. You find that the Hive have invaded Earth and you must defeat them. Once you do so, you are then tasked with heading back to the Cosmodrome, where you must investigate fallen arrays on the Forgotten Shore. The shore is miles away, so you fight through Fallen and connect with the old Guardian vehicle grid and receive a Sparrow, which is a vehicle used by the Guardians. You arrive at the Forgotten Shore and defeat the Fallen protecting the arrays. Your ghost then investigates them and finds that the weird signals from the Fallen are coming from the terrestrial complex of Skywatch, an old Golden Age communication center. Once you arrive, you find Fallen trying to hack through a firewall of the old war mine Rasputin, which is an AI made to defend against the darkness and the only war mine to face the darkness and survive. After you defeat the Fallen and destroy the equipment they were using to hack the firewall, you have successfully protected Rasputin. You are informed of a missing Guardian team within the complex, and you must go find their ghosts, which are suspected to contain codes with information needed to activate Rasputin and connect the tower to other stations around the solar system. You find the ghost containing the codes for Rasputin and activate him. After doing so, Hive swarm in and you must defeat them to keep the array active. You then defeat the Hive and Rasputin takes control and connects himself with the rest of the solar system. And you have completed your objectives on Earth. 
Thank you guys for watching. As always, I want to give a quick update about the channel. I didn't upload yesterday because it's tough to find original content to post when the game isn't out yet, so it might be uploads every other day until the full release of the game. But nevertheless, I'm going to do my best to try and upload as much as possible. I'd also like to give a huge thanks to you guys for helping me reach my like goal of 5 on my last video. Let's see if we can do that again in today's video. Also, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel down below if you enjoyed the video. And until next time, guys, peace out.